Hello, it's Ever back again with another video. And today, I'm going to talk about a few hidden gems, and uh, one that I haven't spoken about in some time on the channel, um, but I did talk about in the early crypto lightsaber days. Um, so I'll get to that one next, but we'll start with R34P. And there's been a lot of these RFI type coins, and a lot of them haven't, you know, a lot of them have performed quite well to start with and then fallen to the wayside, but this one seems to be just going up like consistently. All right, if we look from the bottom, uh, from its inception, this has gone up from about one cent all the way up to approximately $20, uh, about 20, like thousand percent, you know, like this is just crazy gains, right? Right now it's sitting at $20, all right? So, um, yeah, I mean, this is definitely one that, you know, if you did get in from the beginning, you would have made some nice profits uh, on this. All right, guys, uh, I know that Crypto Talk, has been talking about this coin or did talk about this coin um a little while ago when it was like under nine dollars i believe and um you know i've been watching it for a while um unfortunately didn't get in didn't take an entry all right and obviously it's just been going up and up and up and even now it's forming a big w pattern on the one hour chart it looks like it's getting ready to you know break into a new all-time high pretty soon all right, currently the highest point it's been at is about $22, but this has definitely been one that hasn't disappointed, all right? Um, only wish I would have got in on it a little bit earlier, all right? But at the end of the day, this is crypto. We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, you know? Sometimes we just have to sit back and watch and wait and see how something performs. Could be missed opportunity, but at the same time, it is what it is, right? So we know that R34P, or it says here R3AP, right? it's a soft fork and constructed as a secondary layer on Reflect Finance, right? We know about RFI. If you don't, obviously go and check out RFI. You know that like 1% of the uh, transaction fees get split between the holders, which is why your balances keep increasing. Very small amounts, you know, unless you're holding a lot of money, it's not going to be significant increases in that. But at the same time, um, there's been a lot of forks on it, right, guys? And they haven't all prospered like the way this one has or is doing, at least up until this point all right so it's a soft fork constructed as a secondary layer on reflect finance rfi uh, the token benefits every holder with a low cost charge of one percent fee in every transaction on the blockchain redistributes to every wallet holder automatically based on the amount of r34p token in their wallets and another one percent will be sent to a burn wallet okay that's zero x z wallet that will automatically burn and reduce the circulation total supply anytime you see this you'll know that it's a burn wallet okay Fair Tom Economics listed on Uniswap, locked liquidity, and so on. Community driven and fair launch project it reminds me of YFDFI. All right, so it's a direct fork of R3P, which was a great experiment with lots of potential, did over 20x from listing. However, the developers halted it by dumping all their tokens within the first day, as well as siphoning ETH on the pool. And if you're having trouble buying R3P, try using 5% slippage. All right, so obviously they're clear they use 5% slippage. I actually. Um, I believe used about 3% slippage uh, to get in and I got in fine. All right, guys? So, yeah, make sure you're up in your slippage uh, when, when you're buying something like this. Um, I think I used 2% slippage, actually. Um, let me just check. I recently just bought about 111 tokens. So, if we go to my MetaMask, no, what am I going to MetaMask for? If we go to my settings, I use 3% slippage and I got in just fine, all right? So, if you use 3%, you shouldn't have any problems if you're doing that right now, okay? So, I just wanted to quickly point that out to you. Um, the liquidity is locked as well. Um, I haven't checked for how long, but um, the initial supply is 100,000, all right? Circulating supply is 9256. So, obviously, it's got the burn mechanism, all right, guys? Team allocation was no tokens according to the website so definitely been one that uh, has performed at the end of the day um, anyone that had any concerns about it before about it getting dumped or anything like that it's proven not to be a pump of dump at least this far down the road all right so for me i'm expecting it to break into a new all-time high if it gets rejected here for me that will be a triple top kind of formation and um, i will be looking to kind of get, get out of my position quickly if it falls from here all right guys especially if it puts in a a, a lower low from this point all right guys but that is r34p okay now the other token that i haven't talked about in a little while on the channel is spark point srk now 
for those of you that are early followers of the Crypto Lightsaber YouTube channel, you would have known we made uh, a lot of money on SRK, all right, back in the day. And we we're trading this on Bitmart. Now, I don't use Bitmart anymore, which is why I was no longer holding SRK. However, I could have transferred it over to my Uniswap wallet. But um, what I did is um, I bought into the S Fuel pre sale recently. All right, guys, and we'll have a look at that in a minute. All right, so um, SVL will be the new DeFi coin of SparkPoint, by the way, if you don't know. All right, we're looking at the SparkPoint chart. Okay, we can see there is, I mean, this the chart doesn't begin here. It does here on, on chart X because that's when it came on Uniswap, roughly in, uh, is it about June? Yeah, so before that, it was trading a lot before that. This has come up significantly high, thousands of thousands of percent from where it was, and it stabilized around this level. It looks like it's put in a little bit of a market cycle, and now it's starting to get a movement to the upside. You can see a higher high and a higher low forming, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low forming. All right, so it looks like it could be uptrending um, to gear up for next move. Now, people ask what are good coins to hold in the alt season. Sparkpoint SRK, uh, Sparkpoint SRK, I do believe, is one that you can hold in the old season. And, you know, we know that we're going to have an old season, right? We know that Bitcoin has just broke into a new all-time high. I believe we're going to have old season, as we have done historically in the past. We know how these market cycles work, some of us. All right, guys, so it's good to listen to people that have been through it before, sometimes. All right, guys, so it did get rejected off this little level, uh, little level here. If we put a line... Here for the resistance, you can see resistance, 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 okay? So, once we break that level, I believe we're going up, all right, guys? And it has put in a higher low here after its rejection, and it's starting to make its way back up again. But it is a waiting game to see if we can break this level. If we can, if we can break this level, then it's good news for SRK. But bearing in mind, we're on a four-hour chart as well, so this may not happen overnight, all right? Now... SRK, um, go and check out the website. Um, it will be sparkpoint.io, if I remember correctly. Uh, let's go and check it out. Sparkpoint.io. All right. Now they have apps, uh, gaming. Uh, they've got Spark Earn, Spark Learn, all that sort of stuff, right? They're like the uh, the candy crush of crypto. So if you don't know about Sparkpoint, go and check them out. All right. I did quite a lot of videos on them in the past. And me and the, the you know the followers make quite a lot of money on Sparkpoint in the past as well. So I believe that this one has cooled off for quite a little while now. It's cooled off for quite long enough, and it's now beginning to make its way back up to the upside. All right, guys. Some of these things we have to be patient with. All right, guys. But old season, uh, SRK is definitely an old season coin in my opinion. Now let's not forget about the pre-sale. Okay, so Spark Fuel. Um, where is it? Okay, so we've got Spark DeFi. Oh, and by the way, uh, with SRK Spark Point, uh, they have the buyback and burn program. All right, guys. So basically, if you don't know what a buyback is, a buyback is they take a percentage of the profits and they buy SRK on the open market or, or you know, uh, different cryptocurrencies. They do buybacks. They take a percentage of the profits and then they buy coins back on the open market. All right, guys. So obviously that helps to increase the price. Okay, so with SRK. 14 days ago, they say um, the buyback and burn event is happening this December the 30th. All right, guys? So they're going to buy tokens, they're going to buy tokens, and they're going to burn tokens. All right? So that is all coming up, and the chart structure is looking quite bullish for that as well. Um, I don't expect a kind of buy-down scenario with this. I expect the price to increase based on that. All right, guys? And, but, you know, this is crypto. Who knows what will happen? Okay? So... Glad I didn't forget about that. All right, they've recently listed on Coinsbit as well, or Consbit, whatever you call it. Okay, I believe it's Coinsbit Exchange. All right, guys, so that's definitely good. I haven't been following the news as much as I used to on Sparkpoint, been kind of carried away with DeFi. And speaking on DeFi, so they've got the Spark DeFi. All right, guys, and you know, staking. Um, you know all that sort of stuff right and they've got a token called s fuel all right now i got in on the private sale for this i was whitelisted for for the private sale a few months ago all right uh we picked it up at three cents okay then the early supporter sale which is this one that ends on december the 20th was actually uh six cents all right guys and 
you can put a minimum of hundred dollars now with the private sale that was a minimum of a thousand dollars all right guys so i got in on that didn't put too much in all right guys i put in um and as much as i was willing to lose okay always remember that don't risk what uh, more than what you can afford to lose all right but with the early supporters sale this ends on the 20th of December, so only a couple of days left, and it's a $100 minimum, so a lot of people will be able to get in on that, maximum of $10,000, all right? The target amount to be raised is 70000 and after that, they will have an IDO, so an initial DEX offering, and I believe that will be on the Binance chain, all right? So, so this, is a, this is a Binance, on a Binance smart chain, all right? So the DEX offering is going to be at 15 cents right so i actually got in on a private sale at three cents all right the early supporter sale is six cents all right so by the time um it gets to the dex offering i would have five x already all right so definitely good to get whitelisted for private sale sometimes all right i'm going to leave a link in the description for the twitter so that you can go and take part in that if you would like to all right guys so what do we think do we think there is opportunity there? Spark point, definitely for me, a good coin, good token, good solid project that I've been, you know, I did invest in way back. All right, guys. Um, basically, I had some issues with Bitmart um, a while ago. They were holding back funds. They they froze my account for ages because of something else that happened somewhere else. Nothing to do with me. They were doing a big investigation. They froze a lot of people's funds. After that, I thought, you know what? I can't have this kind of thing happening. I can't support that, you know. So I stopped using Bitmart since I stopped holding Spark Point. I transferred all my earnings out, all right, guys, and actually um, haven't been following it much since, all right, guys. But it's good to take some time off from a coin, come back and see how it's performed. And um, I was right about this all along. I mean, we were we were in this way down here, like, even lower than that, right? And you know, I was taking profits way up here, so I made a lot of money on Spark Point, you know. Um, this coin um, definitely has um, <laughs> uh, a good uh, reputation for me. All right, guys. Uh, so that's about it for now. All right. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. Don't forget about R34P. All right, guys. We'll have to wait and see how this performs over the next couple of hours. Hopefully, we can get that breakout. Remember, we are on a one-hour chart. If we lower the time frame as well, we can see it's trying to move up, but it is getting a little bit of a rejection there. All right, guys, hopefully that can pull itself back and go to the moon. All right, so I will see you guys in the next video. Remember, smash the like button, and I'll see you soon.